he turned stigma and stereotype into stylish, standout couture. This is why his legacy is so relevant today. Patrick Kelly was the first American member of the Chambre Syndicale du pret a porter His career began in the late 70s when he moved from his native Mississippi, where he overcame racism, to New York City, where he also found lack of diversity in the fashion world. He was introduced to one of the most influential models in the world, Pat Cleveland, by one of his close friends. The two became inseparable. Cleveland suggested he move to Paris, where the fashion industry was more receptive to black culture. She bought him a plane ticket and introduced him to her friends. In Paris, Kelly hung out with all the couture cutters at night at club set and during the day at Café Floor. He became a star. He was deliberately using his work to confront questions of race, sending models down the runway with symbolism and the stereotypes of black oppression. He fearlessly and sensitively engaged fashion with race. In 1988, Kelly was the most sought after couturier in Paris. His clients included Madonna, Lady Diana Spencer, Pat Cleveland, and Grace Jones, among others. Academy Award winner Betty Davis was his devoted friend and client. She caused sensation when she wore one of his designs to a David Letterman show, which landed him a successful financial backing. Patrick Kelly died New Year's Day 1990 of complications of AIDS. At his funeral, Gloria Steinem said, he was an outsider who brought the outside with him and then eliminated the outside-inside division for everyone. He unearthed symbols of black oppression and reappropriated them. Patrick Kelly, couturier and cultural provocateur. Stay tuned for more fashion and film updates at the La Jolla International Fashion Film Festival. Ciao for now.